previously in Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, Dr. Vector will oh, see right, you now. Me. Hi. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Lights oh, out for a minute, God. all right? No, 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 oh, God, God. If anyone was watching and giving a damn, I'd have the city's underworld and half its corpse on my ass already. And if you are their pawn, unknowingly carrying out their secret agendas. Hi there, I'm V. I'm getting in the car now. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. And sees Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. Right now, I've got a date with the Grim Reaper. And now to continue. Congratulations. You're picked. You're picked the correct number. You're? You're. This is 2077 and we still have typos? You picked the correct number in today's body count lottery. You are a lucky winner of the Quadra Sport R7 Vigilant. Don't drive it all in one place. Uh, I don't recall entering any kind of lottery is that like just one of those things that do I just get entered because I'm alive and a member or a citizen of the city or I, I didn't enter any lo lottery your feedback is very important to us our customer service team has been notified once again congratulations on winning the quadrasport r7 uh but I didn't play any lottery Your feedback is very important to us. Our customer service team has been notified once again. Congratulations for the car. All right, fine, but I can't say I didn't warn you. Don't try coming suing me if, if you change your mind later. We're pleased to hear we can answer your question. For any further inquiries, please don't hesitate to contact us. Your new Quadro Sport R7 Vigilant has been shipped to your address. Please play again. Uh, how about I play the first time, because I never actually enrolled in a lottery that I'm aware of. But now I have a new car. Okay, cool, great. I might just have to test drive it. Aren't I, don't I have, like, a list of cars that I can... Like, I've got that little car symbol right there in the bottom right left corner of my eyeball. Doesn't that mean I can pick a car from that list and just kind of summon it to me? On second thought, after my last experience driving, do I really want to be doing it again? Ooh, there's a ripper dock down here. Oh, I recognize this marketplace. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff down here later. Okay, um... I need to figure out... Exactly where I am and where I want to be going. I have a lot of stuff in my journal. Um, I do need to go to Lizzie's bar so that I can meet with Miss Parker. Um, I should probably call the Militech lady as well. Uh, that's something I can do now. Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up! Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Uh, let's no, meet. Not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Is that far? Because I don't have... Oh. I mean, not really. Meet with Jackie. Uh, that's probably for the... The flathead. Uh, we've got some, uh, some other things to do around here, too, that... I don't know. Could be fun. Got gigs everywhere. We've got the cyber psycho stuff. Um...
yeah, let's leave it at that. Um, if I zoom in further, it's it's supposed to show me stuff. Maybe I just don't have a lot available right now because, well, I'm, uh, I haven't gotten very far. There's this right around the corner, though. I kind of want to go see what that's all about. These things usually have, like, good loot. Oh, it's upstairs. I should also remind myself what guns I have, because I forgot. I mean, there's a way to do that, too, isn't there? Oh, it's not that way. No, 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 no. Um, please have... Um, oh, this is bad. Okay, I need to find a safe place to throw this grenade where nobody's gonna die. Oh god, and of course, I find a spot I think looks safe enough, and now it's full of pedestrians! Would you people move? I don't want to blow anybody- oh, there's a nice motorcycle sitting there too. I don't want to blow that up either. I'm gonna cross the street. Maybe I can use the motorcycle to- Get out of throwing a grenade? Oh, that's perfect. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh! Oh, I can, I can shoot my gun now on the motorcycle. Um, no, 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 no. Can I have both my hands back, please? Okay, overall, yeah, your mo motorcycle. Motorcycle much better than car. I think I'm gonna stick to motorcycles. Unless I absolutely can. Oh yeah, this is so much nicer. So, where am I? Oh, careful, 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 careful. Still kind of squirrely. I definitely hope I'm going the right way. I mean, my mini-map says I'm going the right way. I love having GPS built right into my eyeballs, that's really nice. Ooh, wait, did I go too far? No, 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 not far enough. Uh, this is so weird! Okay, almost there then. I have no idea how to put my gun away. So I guess I'm just gonna sit here and point with it and hope that, uh... Ooh, okay. Wow, you guys got here fast. Look lively. Hi there. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? Yeah, name's V. Hi. Um... Where did... There we go. Got... Oh! Ow. Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? That really Is that conditions? Necessary. Got any more for me? What Calm talk. the fuck down! I just want to talk. Christ, Meredith! What are you doing? Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Just little old me. It's the truth. Oh, that's what you're doing. Okay. Do a sweep now. Are now you listen. Worried I was followed? This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? I have no idea who you're talking about. That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I. Ugh. Are we done? You can Her, let me you go can now. Let go. Wanna hear what she has to say? Thank you. I'm not a threat. Couldn't have just talked normally. Couldn't have been chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. 
Well, money would be nice, but info's more important. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Sounds like an easy enough condition. Oh, I'd rather not pay at all. Uh, all right. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. Yeah, I'm not. You pay I'm, with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're Who's making a mistake. The cunt's already good as dead. But she'll take you down with her. Oh, how little he knows. Um. All right. Now where's my bike? Oh, come on. The bike isn't here anymore. What'd they do? Blow it up? Oh, there's my bike. And my new car. What? Where'd you come from? Okay, well, at least now I know how I'm getting the hell out of here. I can't just leave my car behind. Ugh. I can, however, change the radio. Or just turn it off. That works, too. Okay, so... We got that one over with nice and quick and easy. What else should we worry about? Uh, I still gotta find money for Vic. That's gonna take some time. Wait for the lockdown to end. Yeah, that one is also time-based. Find the ring in Kabuki. Oh, that's the boxing, right? If I... Let's go to the map. Is that... I mean, I've got time, don't I? I'm not big on boxing matches, but, you know... I can think of worse things I could be doing with my time. Question is, how do I get out of here... ...so that I can go... Oh, I'm going entirely the wrong way. Okay. The little yellow dots are confusing. Oh my god, I really wish I could have... but. I really want to take the motorcycle. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, we're going this way. Oh! This is why I want to take the motorcycle. Oh, my poor car. That's the thing is I just I don't I don't want to leave my car since they since it was brought to me so conveniently I don't want to leave my car just down in some bloody sewer tunnel. But I suck at driving. Suppose it'd be different if I had some kind of, well, again, another out-of-body experience type thing. Uh, where am I? Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, sorry. I'm sure you can afford the repairs, don't worry. Just, just put some elbow grease on it, it'll be fine. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my God. This, this is not good. Okay, I'm getting out now. Oh, my brand new car that I didn't but win, but did win. Hi. I mean, it's beautiful. Look at that engine. It's amazing. But I'm just not a good driver. Definitely better on the motorcycle. It's all about my vision, my my field of view. That's the big thing. Oh god, that is so far away. That's that one I marked, and please tell me that's not my vehicle. Okay, no, they're 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 honking at someone else. Okay. 
I am g here for a, a boxing match? I get the feeling I'm gonna suck horribly at this too, but I mean, I'm here. So, I might as well. Um, God, I am going all the wrong direction. And yet somehow getting to where I need to be. This is pointless. I know where I'm gonna strike before I do it. Typical. What? Knew I'd say that. What? Here for a fight. Which one of you is my guy? Me. Wait, what? Wasn't expecting a tag team, but whatever, I guess. So, who do I got first? No, no. You don't get it. That body and this one. I'm the same person. What? So, what? I'm seeing double. I used to be twins, which you could probably guess. The twins had a close bond, but they wanted to be closer, stronger. So they installed neural oscillation sinks, and now they're, well, me. me. One, One person, person two, bodies. two bodies. My bodies do everything together. Everything. That's really messed up. You really do everything together. Really do everything together? Even under the sheets? I have one girlfriend for both bodies, if that's what you're asking. Shared between both. So, what? One takes waist up and the other's on booty duty? No. Oh She's God. with one body Monday through Wednesday and the other Wednesday through Sunday. Bitch. And you guys don't see how this is messed up. Fine, but I want more money out of it. Oh god, I don't have... I, I don't have enough. Guess it fucked you two up. Not you two. It's just me. And where's the sportsmanship? Sheesh. Come back when you wise up. Be waiting. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to come back because apparently I have to pay into this bloody fight and I don't have the money to do it. Oh, man. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to be a shortcut. Okay, let's take the other way back to my car. Uh, let me... Can I not crouch? Okay. No, oh, let me stand back up. And what was that message I just got? Bart must collective? First will come the great reality check, which ushers in the future of the world. What? English, please. Not schizophrenic. Okay. Hey. Loot. I like loot. You don't look so good. It did you. Okay, how? Where the hell am I and how do I get down? Oh my god, I'm so lost. I think I would have preferred staying in Skyrim. Damn that dragon. Okay. It's. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm still locked onto the fight, which apparently I can't do because I don't have any money. So. Take part in more fights after the Watson lockdown. Okay. That's a completely different quest. So... I guess I'll just start heading for Lizzie's bar. That can't be too far away, can it? Where's my car? Let's go do another thing that is highly not recommended. Get back in the, the car and drive some more. Because that has worked out so well up until now. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yep, it's going to be one of those things. Oh, God. Oh, I, my, my vision is just so bad.
okay. So... Where am I? Whoa, watch the guardrails. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Okay, I think I'm early. Like, really early. But I want to get the specs on this job before I go doing anything else, like, fun. I want to make sure I have all the deeds right, so I need to meet with a client. Oh, God. And preferably not drive my car through the club wall. That, that would be fantastic. Oh, my God. I can't even park straight. Hey, hey there, there. dollface. Hi, sorry. Interest you in a preem BD? Um, got anything good? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Uh, oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not Anything a sales pitch. Sex? It's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Uh, uh maybe another time. Know what? Uh, maybe another time. Sure thing, doll. Say, is it six o'clock yet? Reconsidered, huh? Uh, okay, fine. Bespoke. Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to so know first. So I have first. to say yes to get in the door. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green deal. Enough. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, doll. Welcome sure. to Lizzie's. Okay. So I'm not too My, early. What a sweet little face you have. Um, hi. Is that all you're gonna say? I can't talk to you? All right. I'll just go on inside. Maybe. If I can find the door. There we go. Pretty doctor already. <laughs> no surprise there. So this is Lizzie's place. Who is Lizzie exactly? No matter. Nice bat. Let's have a look around. I think I've got time to kill. I have no idea what time it is. Uh, there's my clock. Oh. Well, I'm actually right on time. There's that cream new place. We went there yesterday. Huh. Drawing a blank. Okay. I think since I'm actually here in the time that I need to be, let's not eavesdrop and do what we came here to do. All depends what you're into. Maybe you can tell me about it over a drink? Hey, another uh, round over here, Stan. Uh, bar looks kind of crowded. Hey. Get you something. Yeah, what you got on special? Liz so, curious. The name Lizzie's. That the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Oh, now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Until... Let me guess. It didn't last. No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. Gang came back the next day. 
Liz was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. Big Boss now is Susie Q. But the sign stayed up, out of respect. And biz booms to this day. Sounds like a pretty good deal. Uh, what you got? What's on the menu? Do you have anything that would be interesting? Oh, you've got a lot of good, uh, booze. Oh. 21st Stout. Absinthe. Oh, I've never had that. But I should probably avoid alcohol considering I'm here to do business. So, uh, how about just a cola? Yeah? Just, just a cola. Keep it light. No getting drunk on the job. And speaking of the job... Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn. Club's big. I'm gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. I was waiting for this one. Oh, you're Evelyn. Hi. Can I Evelyn Parker. look at you straight on? I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. So much for not getting drunk. Sense on. Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. So why meet here? Why we meet in here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. That would be preferred. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone Ooh, asks, lounge. we're not here. Sounds snazzy. So, what can a horn? I like the sound like of me? the lounge. That sounds like a nice place to relax really? and Why don't you just tell ignore me everybody me? else. I just told you. Ah, private accommodations. Very nice. I could get used to this lifestyle. You know, you really shouldn't do that. Smoking is really bad for you. Dex had a load to say about you. Can we turn this Called off? You professional. It's Effective. distracting. And trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Well, uh, considering I don't really know Dex very well. Um, no idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Seriously, can Loyalty we turn this and thing predictability off? they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere, not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Yeah, I don't really know a lot about Dex either. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for or me? Or have I not already emphasized Your that? target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? No, that's a little bit out of my price range. Classy Corp Hotels? Mm, yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Oh, the decor's to die for, as you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? 
In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? I've got a real bad feeling about this job already. But in for a penny, in for a pound. You know this guy's got an army around him v? at all times, right? Top dog like you or Nobu's been to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. I huh. doubt that. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Intel. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. So, uh... He's paranoid. V? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You want me to go rob a guy who's paranoid? And you really think this is a good idea? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yuri's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. I've got a real bad feeling about this. All right, what are you not telling me? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Uh, no. What, I'm, I'm, yeah, spell it out Wait, for me. neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this? Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But, in this day and age, everyone's in the game. And no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Uh-huh. And what does Yori get out of this? So what's Yorinobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. What do you want with the chip? Where does he keep it? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. I mean, not really. What is on this relic anyways? One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. See, that's the thing that I'm trying to uh, ensure happens, is that the job gets done and my bank account gets full, and neither of which is going to happen if I die in the process, so I need v? all the details I can get. What else do you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, 
Though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Um... Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something you for you. So. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. They can be Would a very useful like tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Mm -hmm. Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Uh, no, just you didn't tell me you knew him personally. It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. It means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Yes, Judy will help. Please. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. Judy, v, you say. this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. I get so it. So you'll get be it. a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. What's wrong with my tongue? Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. I kind of think I'm very proficient with my tongue. <clears throat> Hey, there you are. This is V. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Um, nice setup. Impressive looking setup. Need all this to process brain dances? Mm-hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. All right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So uh, let's I'd calibrate. Not get Tune it to her. Deep inside. We only just met. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. No thanks. So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Uh. What's so raw about it? What do you mean by raw? How's this differ from the ready mates? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass-market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced-in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue in Viro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Okay. I guess it's time to take a trip to Fantasyland.